everyone. In this video, I will be showing you all how to make a fire engine in Minecraft. So, uh, this isn't it right here. Um, this is actually the fire truck. Uh, now, there is actually a difference between a uh, fire truck and fire engine. Fire truck is the one with the ladder on top, the big ladder on it, right? And then the fire engine um, basically is the one that has like... Well, no ladder, I guess, <laughs> basically. So, uh, yeah, but yeah, I think the fire engine is what really, like, holds all the water. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a fire man or anything. I don't know anything about firefighting. I'll let me know in the comments. But, yeah, there is, like, a major difference between the two. Um, you know, fire trucks are usually, like, bigger as well because, obviously, again, they have the ladder on top. But, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I'm, I showed you guys how to make the fire, how to make a fire engine before, but now I'm going to show you guys how to make a fire. Or, er, okay, I am so dumb. <sighs> I showed you guys how to make the fire truck. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter which one you call which, but um, I showed you guys how to make the fire truck uh, last time, but now I'm going to show you guys how to make the fire engine. There we go. That's what I meant to say. I am so stupid. Let's just get into this. This is going to be a long tutorial. Okay. So as you can see, we have a ton of materials here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab them. So we have black concrete, red concrete, white concrete, stone button, light blue stained glass, light blue stained glass pane, smooth stone slab, polished stone. Blackstone slab, smooth quartz slab, bedrock, iron bars, oops, red carpet, um, stone button, acacia button, stone slab, acacia wood slab, iron frame, acacia signs, uh, oak sign, smooth quartz block, lever, uh, red terracotta, iron trap door, stone brick wall, observer, red carpet, oh, wait, I already said red carpet, um, yeah, um, Light gray carpet, uh, redstone comparator, red nether brick wall, polished blackstone wall, anvil, diorite wall, smooth quartz stairs, uh, dark oak fence gate, grindstone, and a gray shulker box. And yeah, once you have grabbed every single one of those materials, um, and once you find a place to put your fire engine, I'm going to try to call it the right name this time, um, we can get started. Okay guys, so start off your fire engine here, you want to have two black concrete on the ground, extend them up by one. Next, you're gonna extend uh, forward with two uh, quartz slab, and then just put a smooth stone slab at the front. Next, oops, uh, next you want to extend from that, um, uh, what is this, oh my gosh, smooth stone slab, I'm so dumb. Uh, you wanna extend back by one, two, three. Okay, so it wants to be four, so one, two, three. So I guess technically you're extending right by three, but whatever. Uh, anyways, then you wanna extend back by two with the quartz. Hang on, let me make sure I'm actually doing this right. Okay, good. All right, yeah, and then extend back by two with the uh, quartz uh, slab there. And then extend uh, back by two with the dark black concrete, extend up to the top, like or we'll extend up by one. All right, and then you want to extend um, back by two with the quartz on both sides, and then you want to extend back by three with the black. Uh, oops, oh my goodness. Uh, back by three with the blackstone slab. Back by two with the quartz slab, and then um, back by two again with the black concrete, and extend up by one on both sides of the black concrete, and then finally extend back by three with the quartz slab and then uh oh yeah and then we'll put the um my help to connect the slab make it a lot easier so you don't have to crouch when placing the, uh, the iron trap doors there but but yeah i mean that's pretty much it, the base uh, and while we have our buttons go ahead and put the buttons on the wheels here these are just meant to be the wheels as i said um so pretty cool once you have done that uh, that is the wheels and I guess like the chassis pretty much for the fire truck or fire engine. I know I'm going to call it the wrong name multiple times, whatever. Okay. So on top of the, um, so on top of the quartz slab in front of the front wheels, if that makes any sense. So between the, so between the front bumper and the front wheels, you want to put two, um, white concrete, right? All right. And then, uh, behind the, and then behind here, you want to do red concrete, and then uh, come to the other side here. Um, and then here you want to do two white concrete. And then on the other side of the back wheel, you want to do one white concrete. And then everything else is two red concrete. All right. Perfect. Yes. Okay. And then um, behind this, you basically want to do two like white concrete. All right. Just like that. So pretty cool. Um, all right. 
what you want to do next is you want to on top of okay you want to you can actually go ahead um replace your stone button with your red terracotta go ahead and put white red terracotta at the ends here like this all right and once you've done that um you can go ahead and take your red concrete and on top of the white concrete the the front wheels and the red uh, terracotta you want to just put a row of red concrete all right at the back here, you want to extend these two red concretes up by th by two, uh, just like that. All right, and then you uh, you want to go ahead and connect them together at the top, and then also extend this white concrete at the back up by one, just like that. All right, and then uh, you want to go ahead and do uh, an entire row of uh, just red concrete, kind of just uh, just two rows of red concrete at the back here, just like that. And then uh, the, you see the gap between like where we have the back wheels here. Um, you want to go ahead and just put red concrete. So that's like um, above the wheels, as you guys can see. It's Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. Um, it's like, you know, you can see it's like above the wheels, but it's also between them, if that makes any sense. It's hard to explain, but that's kind of what you want to have. And then you just want to basically just fill that up right there. And then that's pretty much the shape of like the back of the fire truck a little bit. So pretty good once you have that. All right. Now, once you made it to this point right here, you can actually uh, go ahead and put uh, light blue stained glass across the top of the front here, just like that. We're going to put the grill in here and not to, in, uh, in a little bit here, but and then behind here, you want to just put a uh, block of like, or I guess just one like uh, light blue glass pane, red concrete behind and then two uh, light blue uh, glass pane and then red concrete at the end, just like that. You can actually go ahead and replace your red terracotta with your buttons, bring your buttons back and go ahead and, and beside each of the windows that are like, so beside each of these windows right here, so here and here, so but this two block window on each side of it, you want to put st uh, stone buttons. Those are simply meant to be just some flashing lights. All right. So once you have that, go ahead and replace your stone button with your bedrock and we're going to make the grill. So at the front, oops, you should want to go ahead and fill this up just like that. That's of course, as I said, the grill. Um, all right, and also you can go ahead and fill in the back of the the cab here, basically, is what this front part is, um, with the red concrete, because we're going to be filling this all up, so you won't be able to see it, like, like, none of it. All right, replace your bedrock with, uh, oh, wow, you've forgotten an important material. Of course I did, I always do, but we'll worry about it later. Um, all right, go ahead and grab your iron bars, you can go ahead and put iron bars on the front of the bedrock here, just to give it some detail, like that. All right, what next? Uh, let's see, so let's go ahead. Um, let's make, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the roof of the cab here. So we'll go ahead and grab red con uh, red carpet. I almost said red concrete. You can actually go ahead and fill this up in here. Uh, there's not gonna be an interior. I mean, unless you wanna make an interior, go ahead and do so, but I'm not gonna have an interior. This wasn't designed to have an interior, but you know, if you could somehow incorporate an interior, I mean, I'm, it, I'm sure it's possible. You could totally, make an interior if you wanted to but it wasn't designed that way so yeah just just to so you all know but oops that's not oh my gosh i'm so bad at this guys okay here we go here we go but yeah once you have that up there um you want to go ahead and next you want to put a red ca carpet here like along the back and then straight through like the like through the back as well, just like that. So that's also where you want to put red carpet. Okay, let's go ahead and put the red carpet back and let's go ahead and grab ourselves some, if I can find it, where is it? Yes, gravel. I know that sounds silly. And what you're gonna to wanna to do in order to make this work, cause gravel will fall, I know it's really annoying. You wanna go ahead and connect the blackstone slab together so it has a base to sit on. And then you just wanna put, um, like two kind of, I guess two rows of, uh, um, yeah, gravel or no, I guess no three rows of gravel going all the way to the top, just like this. All right. Three rows of gravel. Perfect. And then, yeah, once you have extended that all the way up to the top, you can go ahead and grab your light gray concrete or carpet, sorry, carpet. And just go ahead and put light gray carpet on top, just like that. Uh, now you actually want this one right here. Actually, you want one carpet uh, actually expose one of the middle ones because that's where we're going to put like a big like sprayer on the top, like a big hose kind of thing. So, so we're going to put that. And actually, we'll go ahead and make that right now. So we'll go ahead and replace your light gray carpet with your and actually go ahead and replace both your glass. Replace your glass block with the grindstone and then you can place the light blue glass pane with the dark oak fence gate. 
replace your polished blackstone slab with your uh your fence or iron bars sorry all right so where would you have dug out like the piece like where we have the missing carpet basically you want to go ahead and put a uh, another brick uh um wall and then you want to extend up by two or extend up by one sorry about my battery um and then behind there you want to just put the grindstone all right um so yeah you want to delete the the second like okay you guys can pretty much see what i did i'm, I'm just too stupid to explain it all right and then in front of this you want to put iron bars and then you want to put um oops okay this is going to be tricky but you want to be able to have the yeah you want the fence gate to be facing like that and you don't want to open it or anything because that's what it's meant to look like but yeah that's basically meant to be like a sprayer on the top of the truck just like that perfect uh so now once you have gotten that um that's pretty much that part done so it's a pretty good majority of it done so now we're going to make the controls for the sides of the truck so you want your um uh, iron trap door and we need those for the back bumper too so this is another pretty important material uh you're going to want your uh, observer replace the grindstone with that replace the fence gate with the lever uh and then yeah we'll basically go ahead and make oh wait actually replace your iron bars with your stone brick wall and here we go okay so come to where we have this like wall of gravel basically right you want to come to oops what am i doing okay so you want okay so you want to take your stone brick wall come to the very middle row you want to uh leave a gap of one from the bottom here so it wants to be the very middle block the very middle block all right oh wait oh no sorry it wants to be the top block my bad okay sorry it wants to be the top block just like that so very top block and then for the observer this is going to be a bit tricky oh actually no okay there's a certain way we want this to face that's not it either okay yeah this is a bit tricky guys um i guess it really doesn't matter but yeah honestly it really doesn't matter so just okay i'm going to put the lever on top of it just like that and then on on the front of the uh stone brick wall you want to put the iron trap door and then just flip the lever open and there you go it's meant to look like like just some fire truck you know just the fire engine pumper controls you want to do the same thing on the other side as well so stone brick wall in the middle um with the iron trap door on it and then just observer crouch place lever oops oh my gosh Ugh, tutorial <laughs> all right and then just oh open the lever or i guess switch the lever whatever you want to say all right and then of course on the back of the truck here for the bumper you want to put uh iron trap door just like that and then that gives it some detail all right and speaking of detail that is the next thing we are going to do we're going to add some detail we pretty much built the truck already we just need to add like a ton of detail we just need to add all the details so we'll go ahead and grab item frames uh acacia signs uh we'll go ahead and grab oak sign as well um let's go ahead and grab hmm we'll keep the quartz slab so we'll keep the quartz slab uh we'll grab the stone slab we will grab the acacia wood slab we will grab the acacia buttons um what else will we we'll grab will we grab um oh yeah we'll grab the redstone comparators and uh, i think we'll leave it at that for now um but yeah so on each side of the grill here on the front you want to just go ahead and put the item frames and then in the middle on the bottom of like the on the slab here basically you want to just go ahead and put two signs those are meant to be a license plate and then go ahead in these bottom item frames go ahead and put the acacia wood slab those are meant to be blinkers all right come to the top of the truck here you want to leave a gap of one uh from the front here and just dig out the row of uh carpet here and then on the ends here you want to put smooth quartz slab and then stone slab in the middle those are meant to be the light that's meant to be the light bar all right and then okay and then two rows behind just like where the stone slab is but two rows behind so it's yeah so about right here you want to go ahead and just put some acacia wood i don't know why this isn't working there we go yeah you want it kind of like on top just like that and that's how that's meant to be just some extra detail on the truck just like that all right all right and then come to the back and then just on the very ends here you want to just go ahead and put some uh acacia buttons these are meant to be again just little flashing lights um all right and then once you've done that you want to take your redstone comparators and on these four corners here so here 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 and here where we don't have red carpet you want to go ahead and put these these are of course again lights flashing lights so uh, just to add some more detail so yeah you can put those there all right and then for the acacia signs these go 
um, directly below, right here, below this window. And these are just, like, you can write fire department on here or maybe, like, a city name if you're putting it in, like, your city. Um, it's also meant for detail, so it looks really good. But, yeah, you can write, like, fire department or say you're making New York City. That can be, that can say, like, New York City fire department. I don't know, just something like that. All right, and, uh, yeah, you can already see this truck is pretty much almost done. Um, uh, you can see we don't have much left to do. Um... We only have very minor details left. Um, so yeah, once you have done that, you want to go ahead and put away your item frames and grab your gray shulker box. Uh, put away your acacia signs, grab your polished black stone wall, and then go ahead and grab your uh, stone brick wall again. I sh we should have already taken care of this before, so I apologize. Uh, go ahead and grab your lever, um, and then grab your iron bars. Um, you're going to need your uh, quartz stairs, you're going to need your anvil, and you're also going to need your diorite wall. And then, uh, there's also another material we forgot, of course, of course you know, because I'm always forgetful. Um, we're going to want trap wire hooks as well. So, uh, with the trap wire hooks on either side of the sign, basic, or no. Yeah, no, so, um, beside the sign and then below this first uh, stone button, uh, you want to go ahead and put... Um, or, no, actually, it's below this first window. There we go. So it's below that first window. So it's so it's beside the sign and below this first window is where you want to put those truck wire hooks. Those are meant to be door handles to get into the truck. Um, just like that. Okay, the next thing you want to add over here, you want to come to the side of the truck. This is where we're going to have, like, equipment and, like, storage, basically. This is, like, the little storage area. So right here, you just put some, like, gray shulker boxes. Doesn't really matter how you put them. Um, and then stone brick wall and then just polished blackstone wall on top of that the polished blackstone wall is meant to be a pipe for all the water all right and then you want to do the exact same thing on the other side uh you can do it in whatever order you want um but yeah so you know, just do the same exact thing just like that all right and then come to the back of the truck here you want to let me look at my plans but before we do that let's actually go ahead and do this little detail here you want to put a lever and then an iron bar on top on the very end, just below this acacia button. Oh my gosh, seriously? <sighs> Guys, I am so bad at this. Okay. But yeah, those are meant to be like, because sometimes like um, fire truck firefighters will hang off the side of the truck. So that's so what that's meant to be. Now I have to fix my stupid mistake. And this tutorial is already super long and there's still a few things we need to get done. There we go. Yeah, so that's what that's meant to be. Okay, and then come to the back of the truck. Uh, you want to go ahead and put a... Um, anvil on the left side and upside down quartz stair um on the right side and then on top of both of those uh you want to go ahead, oh my gosh seriously i hate when it does this thing like what oh my gosh minecraft is garbage on mobile guys do not get minecraft on mobile but yeah and then once you've done that you want to grab your item frames again and i apologize but yeah you want to grab your item frames oh my gosh guys i can't wait for this tutorial to be done uh, you want your quartz, oh my gosh, quartz block, guys, I am just, oof, I'm not having fun with this already. Um, let's see, oh yeah, and then you also need, you're gonna want to keep your levers, and then grab, this is of course another material that I yet forgot, of course. Alright, so, yeah, you want your, uh, withers, you want wither skeleton skull, and then on either side here, you want to just put some item frames, uh, red concrete in them, just for taillights, you can do whatever you want, um, I had originally done, like, uh, red stained glass panes, so if you guys want to do that, that's perfectly cool as well. On these front uh, item frames here, above the blinkers, basically, these are meant to be headlights. Just put some white, uh, just some quartz in there, all right? All right, and then beside this first uh, trip wire hook here, you want to put a block uh, where the white concrete is. On top of that, you want to do Wheeler Skeleton Skull facing into the truck. With a lever, uh, oh, wait, actually, that's too low, my bad. It actually wants to be where the red concrete is. Oof, guys, I really have to go to the bathroom, this is so annoying. Uh, but yes, um, oh my gosh, are you serious? Gosh, guys. But yeah, and then just delete the block, and then a lever underneath it. And then, okay, come on, we're almost done here. Alright, and then do the exact same thing on the other side with a skeleton skull. Delete the block and lever, and there we go, guys. That is it. That is how you make a fire tr a fire engine in Minecraft. If you guys did end up enjoying this tutorial, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials like this. 
Uh, so yeah, like I said, I've made the fire truck before, so if you guys want to see that tutorial, just go to my channel, go to playlists, it'll be the city vehicles playlist, I think that's what it's called, but um, it'll be something like that, but, but yeah, this is like where, that's like the playlist where I have all my like city vehicles for your city, I also do city buildings, uh, I haven't done much yet, I really have only done like a schoolhouse and that's pretty much it, and then like a Domino's and a Blockbuster, those are the only thing I have so far. Um, but yeah, I plan to expand that series quite a bit, so if you guys want to see more city building tutorials or city car tutorials, like city vehicle tutorials, please um, smash a like and definitely comment below your suggestions, uh, not only for, you know, like city building, like for city related tutorials, but also movie studio logos. Actually, you guys can see I have Fox Searchlight Pictures over there in the works. Uh, it's not done yet. I just figured out how to make the letters. I got to make them 3D and, and all the lights and stuff. So it's not done yet, but it's getting there. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a teaser for you guys right there. But oh yeah, and I also do like movie car tutorials. I plan to do more of those as well. I just plan to expand my channel quite a bit. So, so yeah, if you guys want to see more awesome tutorials from me, um, turn notifications so you don't miss another one. Well, you don't miss when another one uh, comes out. And also be sure to subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.